So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and yes, there's another covered bridge behind us. We were just down at um, Weir's Covered Bridge. This is, we're in Lehigh County, this is Covered Bridge Park. So appropriately, there are several covered bridges in this park. And I was wrong. When we were down at the other one, I thought I could see this one up here. I must have been looking at something else because this bridge was farther down from the other one than I thought. So I'm not sure what I was seeing in the other video that I thought was the other covered bridge down here. But yeah, here it is, Goose Covered Bridge, or Manastas Goose Covered Bridge. Yeah, so this is Lap Road, I believe. And plenty of parking here. This is, like I said, Covered Bridge Park. Extends quite a ways that way. And down here is the Jordan Creek. And up here is our bridge. Looks like it's got a new paint job recently. But this is 108 feet long, just a little shorter than the other one we did today. Built in 1858. And I think it was restored in 1882, I believe, or rebuilt. But yeah, that's a cool shot there. So this one is also open to vehicular traffic, but just not quite as busy as the other one was. Not that uh, Weir's was a super busy bridge, but this one seems to be a little bit less busy than even that one. But it's always just going underneath. We can go right underneath here. Oh, you should be able to tell what design it is by seeing what's coming down here. That's that arch abutting up against, you know, the abutment here. That's what gives it the strength. Look like it's, looks like it's going to be a double burr arch truss again. Yeah, but no steel beams underneath this one. Just all the wooden. It looks like it's the floor, the beams going that way look much newer than the ones going across and stuff. Yeah, but this is a beautiful spot down here too. I mean, up at the other up at the other covered bridge, we had that dam with like the little waterfalls and stuff. But this one's nice too. A lot more, uh, a little more solitude here than at the other one. Seems like a nice place to spend like a hot summer afternoon, splashing around in a creek <laughs> under an old covered bridge. All right, in a little bit we'll go across. Yeah, this is nice down here. Let's get a shot of the bridge from the other side here too. The sunny side. I think I'll stop trying to get some shots from over here. That's, that's someone's yard over there. They posted signs, so we'll uh, stay away from there. <laughs> the house is right up there too. All right. But this is a pretty cool shot too. But maybe once we get to the other side and go down that road a little bit over there, I'll be able to get some shots from looking at this way without trespassing on someone's property. All right, I'm gonna get my uh, safety vest on and we'll head, we'll head up across there. All right, Goose Covered Bridge, 1858. Yeah, this one's uh, got that whitewash on the inside too. Just like Weir's, the one we did earlier today. Yeah, you've got the double burr arch. But this is different than Weir's, where we were earlier. So you have the, the two, but that one we were at earlier today had, also had some on top, like this. This only has the two. That other one had like four arches. But this is still considered a double burr arch because of the two. I think I've gotten that confused in the past. It also has that same whitewash. Are these metal? Trying to figure that out. If he's, mm, I'm trying to find bridges that still have like the original wooden ones that go through. But these, I feel like these are, I don't know, I can't tell quite. They're painted over. All right, just let some cars pass through. Yeah, it didn't say it was restored anytime soon. So, like I said, built originally in 1858. Then I I think some work was either rebuilt or redone in 1882. So these could be, although they feel kind of like metal. It's kind of hard to tell with the paint. But I don't see like a metal, the other ones have like a metal bolt. So maybe this is the original wood right there. I don't know. This bridge isn't so busy. We have, so that we have the time to look, check it out. Looking for some other ones too. I don't really see any signs of 
like metal. Yeah, this bridge doesn't even have those, uh, oh, I forget to call it again. Like they have the metal rods that go up and down to add some extra tension to the bridge, strength and tension. This one doesn't even have those. Right, maybe those are wooden posts in there. It's hard to say. Because they definitely don't have like the metal nuts and bolts that you see on a lot of them, even like the last one we filmed. All right, okay, um, let's get to the other side. I wanna see if I can get some shots from this road over here. So if I stand up on the guardrail here, I can get a shot of the bridge going down that way. The side's got quite a bit more like that green algae stuff growing on it. I don't think I'll be able to get, there's woods down along but I was stay hoping if I could walk down along the road, I'd get some shots with all the like, kind of woods along here. So I don't think I'll get like a clear shot. We'll see. Kind of like a shot where I have the whole bridge in frame. All right, so kind of the shot I'm looking for, except I wish all oh, that wasn't there so I could get, yeah, much more scenic shot of it, but we'll see. All right, a slightly better perspective. I kind of climbed up the, the embankment here a little bit, get a little bit more height. All right. Let's go over here. I don't think we're going to get much of a shot over here either. All right, here's the view from this spot. I think I'll do what I did on the other side and go up the embankment a little bit to get a little bit more of a distance shot, I think. All right, just not a whole lot better, but there you go. Some cars going across there. Anyway, but that's kind of what it's like sometimes, trying to get the shots of these bridges, trying to find the, the correct angle you're looking for and stuff. I don't always share that with you, but since it's not terribly busy here, I thought you kind of take you on that little side adventure with you. you know, I'm always trying to get that perfect shot of the covered bridge. It's not always the easiest thing to do. But let's get across again. This bridge seems to get really quiet and then really busy all of a sudden. Not super, super busy, but... All right, here we go. And of course, I'll take you across with Naomi as we drive across here. I haven't driven across this one yet. That's a contrast, the white beams with just the brown roof. The other one we are earlier today, we are, is even those beams are painted white too. And once again, not entirely sure about these, if they're metal or wood. Part of me feels like they're metal, but, because I have that kind of, uh, who knows, <laughs> keep debating in my mind. I'm trying to feel, this is wood. That has a colder feel to it, to be honest. So I believe that those are metal. Oh well, all right, so one more shot here of Goose Covered Bridge, or I think sometimes it's called Manassas Goose Covered Bridge. There's a town nearby here called Goose Goosesville, <laughs> if I could say it right. All right, but like I said, we're gonna hop in Naomi and give her a chance to check out this covered bridge too. Right, here we go. Head across Goose Covered Bridge. Wait for some other few folks to come across. Okay. Okay, well that was dumb of that guy. He should have he should have stopped and backed up since I was already through there. But anyway, <laughs> kinda glad I got that on film. Alright, but anyway, thanks for coming along and uh we'll see you on the next one.